Hey everyone, it's Arthur here at Arthur Ease Your Mind on YouTube and ArthurEaseYourMind.com. I'm an intuitive consultant and psychic advisor. And a great big shout out to wherever you are and for all the support to this channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now it's Sunday afternoon on June 9th. I don't know if the show's going to get up on Sunday afternoon on June 9th, but that's what I'm taping. So, and we've got a lot of great questions and a lot of it has to do with citizen Trump, you know, the convicted felon. So is he headed to the white house or the big house? Lots of questions about this, but first tomorrow, Monday, he's going to be visiting his parole officer. Isn't that going to be fun? Now I feel it might be done virtually. But I do know also that he did request that his lawyer be present. And Judge Marchand did grant that. So that's going to be interesting. So we'll see what happens. I don't know how they're going to virtually do the little DNA test or whatever else has to be done. But I do know some of the questions are going to be about drug use, alcohol use, and all that good stuff. Because that's standard. So let's just... Keep our ears to the ground and see what happens. Because you know the man, is once he opens his mouth, he's going to lie. Entertainment, entertainment purposes only. Okay. So, also, sorry I haven't been around for a bit. That little thing called life gets in the way. So, here we go. One of the first questions is from Carmen. Out of curiosity, I thought when one was said to be guilty, they usually lock them up. Or is it because he's an ex-president, they don't lock him up or have a special cell or room just for him? Well, here's the deal. The, the 34 convictions were e-felonies and white-collar crime. So usually the white collar crime people do not get carted away when you hear you're guilty. So that's what's going on here. <clears throat> has Trump gotten special treatment? I feel he has in many ways. But with this one, this is white collar crime. So they're not going to cart him away. But be aware that the mayor of New York City has said that they've already gotten Rikers Island ready if Trump has to spend time there. So, and that's a lot of the questions regarding specific sentencing and punishment for citizen Trump, the felon, convicted felon. All right. Mary asks, will Trump get any jail time? Jen asks, what do you think Trump's sentence will be? Emily, how much time in a facility will Judge Mershon sentence Trump? If no jail time, what will his punishment be? And my favorite from Anu, are they going to sentence him to just wear an ankle bracelet at a golf resort, either Bedminster or Marlago? In my opinion, that is no sentence for 34 felons. And then I chimes in, what are your guides saying about 45 sentencing hearing on July 11th? Well, what I'm getting about this is basically, Mershon is going to be very fair. He's going to be very decent. I don't feel he's going to be swayed any way politically about this, regardless of what they're saying about him and his daughter and all the other stuff. All that crap. But what I do get is Mr. Trump, the citizen who's a convicted villain, will serve time. Is it going to be in a facility like Rikers? Or is it going to be like um, wearing an ankle bracelet at Bedminster? I'm not seeing that. I do see a facility of some type. I do feel it may be for what should be years. may only be a couple of weeks. But he'll be let out early on parole and told if you... Mess up, you're going back. 
and that'll be at the discretion of Judge Marshawn. Now, what I do keep on getting is a facility of some sort that's not connected to the world. I do feel when you're, this is maybe personal, but the guides were also giving me this, that when you are found guilty and you go to jail, you're not allowed to have your cell phone. You're not allowed to have social media and all that good stuff. Now, I don't see him making any license plates because he doesn't know how to spell. But I do feel that they will take away his social media. You know, for two weeks, that is hell for this man. Entertainment purposes only, but I thank God that he's wearing a diaper. So we will see. Now, Don and Hensley asks, will judge order a psych evaluation for Trump? Have him committed? Well, I don't see that happening right now. But what I do see is, you know who can have a psyche valve? The parole officer. So that's going to be interesting. Because she may, down the line, say, um, you know what? He's losing it. We need, a, we need an evaluation. Because he is the smartest, big lean brain in the world, right? According to him. But I like what Cheryl Higgs says is, what is up with Dr. Phil interviewing Trump? Does Trump have dirt on Dr. Phil? No. Phil's a MAGA. So there you go. I mean, if you watch the interview, it was like softball after softball after softball. No hitting hard questions. And it was just evident that Dr. Phil was giving Trump lip service to make him sound good. And all these shows, I'm sorry, they get edited. So I would love to see the raw footage on this, if we ever do. But it was a joke. But then I have my own personal feelings about Dr. Phil. And that's my own opinion. Now, sorry. They have me on a new med and I just belch every time. So apologize. Velker, will the jury members be in danger post-court ruling? And if so, is it Trump himself that gives out this message? Well, the thing is, I believe one of the jurors has been doxxed. But I do know they are protected. Not only from the realm, but also from the authorities. And if anything were to God forbid happened to them, it'll go back to Trump. And that's the last straw. But I do not see that happening. Okay. Nancy Faye asks, so darn relieved by that verdict. Is he just going to implode soon with his constant tantrums? Feeling so good. Much gratitude to you and all the readers who have kept us sane these past bunch of years. Believe me, even we go crazy sometimes when I hear the stuff that the magnet people put out there. And it's like, you know, they're not critical thinkers. They're just critical. So as I always say, please, please, please send them love and light until they get it right. Because if there's reincarnation, remember, they're the upgrades. Hmm. Um, Josephine asks, hello, Arthur, if Trump doesn't make it to the election day, November 5th, who do you see taking his place? Thank you for your generosity of your time. My pleasure. Um, well, the thing is, I've always been saying, I don't see him crossing the finish line. In fact, back in July... When I did my first show with Linda, I said, you have to be alive to be a president. So whatever that means, um, might be brain dead, might be dead, dead. But I've always said, in the worst case scenario, someone called Dr. Van Helsing. Okay. Someone has to make sure it doesn't rise again. But then again, all the magas think he's Christ, so you know he will rise again on the third day, right? 
Wrong. CJ Feng Shui, dear Arthur, love you and your readings. My question, if Haley or another GOP polit politician takes 45th place as the nominee, will that give the Republican Party a chance of winning in November? Thank you. No matter who is on the Republican ticket, Trump, anyone, Biden still wins. Okay. Now we all freak out about everything we keep on hearing on Fox News and everywhere else and about everything. But you know what? We have control. Vote. Vote, vote, vote. That's what I always say. And we have to vote like our life depends on it because it really does. All right. All right. Off my soapbox, getting shorter now. Cheryl McNutt. Do you see Nikki Haley getting the presidential nomination of the Republican convention? I don't see her getting it at the convention itself, but I feel that they may put him on the ticket, but if he's not able to follow through with it, she gets replaced. He gets replaced with her. Entertainment purposes only, but that's what I get. Now, so how, and Butterfly asks, so how will the GOP convention go? Um, a three-ring circus. Shouting, screaming, clown cars, maybe elephants doing what elephants do and people having to get sawdust to clean up after the elephants. It's not going to be pretty, people. Not going to be pretty at all. It's going to be a crap show. Well, there's other words I would like to use for that. So, sweetie darling Lulu. So the Fonnie Willis drama that seems to get worse. What will happen now? I know, delay, delay, delay. But it can only delay so long. Fonnie Willis will be taking Citizen Trump a convicted felon to court in Georgia, where he will be found guilty along with all of his other co-conspirators. Yay. Okay. I don't see Trump winning, people. I don't get it. So let's keep on going. Elgar asked, Will Letitia James be able to confiscate Trump Tower anytime soon? Thank you, Arthur. You're awesome. Thank you, Elgar. So are you. In all honesty, I feel Letitia James already has dibs on the property up in Westchester County, New York. And then there'll be others. It'll be like watching one of those domino conventions. Where one goes down, then they all go down. And in this case, weebles wobble, and they all fall down. Okay? Now, all this crap about SCOTUS. Lots of questions from people about SCOTUS. Clarence. Will SCOTUS overturn Trump conviction? Legal Eagle. Or Laughing Eagle. What will the decision of the Supreme Court in the mini in the U Okay. I sound like Gummer Fudd. I apologize. What will be the decision by the Supremes in the immunity case? And Craig asks, January 6th trial is on hold until Supreme Court rules on immunity. Will the trial start soon? Yes, it will. What I keep on getting is by the end of this month, by the 20th, the Supreme Court will hand down that Trump does not have blanket immunity to do whatever the heck he wants or wanted to do. No president does. Period. I feel like it's handed back to Judge Chutkin, who will get things moving immediately. She will start the trial before the election. Okay? I feel the trial may start in September. Will it be running through the election? 
We'll see. But the bottom line is Trump will be convicted. So will all the others. And when those names come out, ooh, it's going to be, it's going to be a beautiful, wonderful day. So yes, get the popcorn, get the butter, and we're going to have a party. Crazy Shark 22. Hi, Arthur. How will history view this bench of Supreme Court justices? Well, what my guides show me is in 2027, we open up a Wikipedia page under Supreme Court justices, and there's only three letters. WTF. Okay? They're not going to be thought of as very good people. Entertainment purposes only. I know you hate me saying that, but I have to. But I've also felt that as we get into the new administration, there are going to be hearings with justices being asked lots of pointed questions about things like perjury, gifties, and that kind of stuff and things that are not ethical. I feel Alito and I feel Kavanaugh are in deep doo-doo, number one. Number two, Clarence Thomas, I always felt, is going to step down the end of October and before the, elect before the election. Now, again, I keep on saying health reasons, but I feel it's going to be Ginny reasons. Because it's all going to come out. There's stuff coming out at the end of September about Jenny that is just going to hit the fan. They may try and turn the fan off, but the damage will be done and the walls will be icky. So I feel he steps down. I feel Kavanaugh is going to be asked lots of questions. I feel even Amy Coney Barrett is going to be asked questions. And again, the word perjury is what my guys keep on telling me. So instead of getting in real trouble, they resign. And I feel at that point, President Biden gets to elect or pick three new Supreme Court justices. One to replace, Al one to replace Alito, one to replace Kavanaugh, and one to replace Clarence Thomas, who'll be leaving. So, you know, happy days are here again. So we'll see. And I've always been saying that in about four to five years, I see that there's going to be 13 Supreme Court justices. Again, the reason being is because the reason why we have nine is because when they originally voted for the nine, we had nine appellate courts. Now there are 13. So we'll have 13 justices on the Supreme Court overseeing the 13 appellate courts. Ta-da. Just saying. Now, angelic alchemy. Like everyone else, I am concerned about the bought Supreme Court looking at messing with the Orange Menace's recent conviction. Thank you. And Arthur, for all that you do to keep us calm. Well, even us psychics get unhinged sometimes. And I tell everybody, stay away from my Pez dispenser. That is not candy. Yes, I meditate. But I've been known to medicate. Entertainment purposes only. All right. Now, I love this one. Will Alito's wife face a judge or be sued? She didn't stop at the flag at intimidating her neighbor and neighbor's mom. Will anything be done about this? Apparently, she is another of those wives. Not that Alito was not responsible. She was parking her huge security detail car in front of her neighbor's mom to intimidate her. Stuff keeps on coming out, and now we all know. The Washington Post knew about this when it was happening. They did. 
But I'm glad they probably released it when they released it now. Because it just makes it look all more silly for Alito. You know, I wonder if he was a drum major in his last lifetime playing with flags. Just saying. Now, Laughing Eagle asks another question. When will Cannon be forced off Mar-a-Lago documents case? Who is pulling her strings? Geppetto. Just kidding. Um, I've been seeing that she's going to be off selling timeshares at the end of July into August. And off the court. Off the kit. Off the bench. And what I've also been seeing is, though, a lot of stuff has been coming out after the Morlago documents case was filed. And I feel that Jack Smith is working or will be working with another grand jury with more stuff to go after Trump with. And Cannon will not be able to touch this. Plus, there'll be a new judge in this, and I'll move forward. Unfortunately, it's going to be after the election. But, I mean, if you think about it, if Trump's going to have his own presidential library, what's he going to do? Fill it with coloring books, Ronald McDonald menus, a Playboy with his name on it, and what? All these legal documents yeah that'll be his library i don't think so now there are a lot of people asking me about this one too could you take a look at project 2025 will that agenda be successful or can we totally rid ourselves of it and melinda also asks project 25 will voters know the details before they vote unfortunately the MAGA people they're not critical thinkers they're just critical about anything that they don't agree with. And Project 25 is scary. Basically appointing Trump as a dictator and getting rid of everything else. I mean, this is the stuff that movies like Seven Days in May were all about back in the day. But it's just frightening. You know, Shades of Maturing Candidate versus Seven Days in May. Watch them. They're creepy. But I don't see it happening. Okay? And again, going back to my soapbox, see I get taller, is <laughs> vote. You're in control, people. So vote. Now, Donna Hensley's asking, how will Steve Bannon's experience in jail be for him? Inquiring minds want to know. That's with an I, not an E. Inquiring minds. What's it going to be like for him? Well, this is what my guides tell me. Okay? It catches up to him. Now, Governor Wings asks, I feel Mike Johnson is being considered for VP. What do you guys say? Now, I, mean, I don't even think he'd be considered VP of the Rotary Club. Um, and I've heard him saying, you know, who's going to be the VP? Well, Trump keeps on calling the, the, the lab to see if the clone's been, you know, is ready yet. But there has been a list of people that supposedly are being vetted, like Marco Rubio, J.D. Vance, and several others. But I don't know if he's going to get to pick them because... I don't know if he's going to be brain dead by then. Entertainment purposes only. So we will see. Because my guides don't really tell me. They're just saying, you, know, you, didn't, you don't need to worry about that now. So people, you don't need to worry about that now. Whatever he does, he does. He loses. That's what you have to recall. That's what you have to remember. Don't micromanage yourself every day. Like, oh my God, this is what happened. Oh my God, this is what they said. Oh my God, oh my God. Stop. Okay. Now, I love this next question. <laughs> Hello, Arthur. This question is just for fun. Will Matt Gates 
and Margie Taylor Green, my tragic girlfriend, turn on each other soon. I want to pop a separate batch of popcorn for that one, if it happens. Well, you know, they're going to eventually. I mean, all the Republicans in the House are like that bucket full of crabs. One tries to get out and they all bring it back in. It's ugly. Ugly. And I'm not talking about people in their physical appearance. I'm talking about their behavior. However, Alfie asks, how will we be able to tell that Jim Jordan, MTG, Howley, and others were served by Jack Smith? Will it be before or after the November election? Well, there's going to be a stench. Never mind. Uh, what I get here is because they're all going to be running around like chickens without heads, going crazy. Like, I'm innocent. I'm innocent. This is not right. I really feel their names are going to be coming out the minute that Jack Smith starts his trial against Trump on January 6th. After that, the names are going to come out. It's going to get ugly. And yes, my dear, get the popcorn. Hell, I'll go to Costco and bring the tubs of butter. All right? It's going to be one show. Um, now, Josephine also asked, what was Don Jr. doing with Matt Gates, Tucker Carlson, and Donnie's girlfriend in El Salvador? Well, they seem to love that dictator down there. But at the same time, what my guys keep on telling me was, it was something about money. And I don't think they were looking for an exit, you know, an exit plan for daddy, but we'll see. But I just feel that it was something uncouth. Let's put it that way. Will we find out about it eventually? Oh, yeah. We'll find out. It's going to get ugly. Now, Beth Hunt asks, what is Mark Meadows' role going to be in all of this? Is he flipping? Have you ever seen a commercial for IHOP? All those flapjacks keep on flipping. Well, let's Mark Meadows. Or actually, a while ago, I did say he has a new book called The Art of the Squeal. So we'll see what happens. But all these people are going to do whatever they can to throw anyone under the bus to make sure that they come across as innocent little petals of flowers. Innocent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I could say something, but I can't because I'll get in trouble. But it has to do with the red light district and everyone being a virgin. Okay. I love this question by Stroud, 2024. After Biden is elected, will Social Security retirees get a cost of living increased that's greater than the usual inflation allowance of 3%? I don't feel it's going to happen in 2025, but I do feel in 26, 27, yes. There's going to be, I don't want to say an overhaul of things, but things are being looking a lot better for everyone. Because as of now, the Republicans want to take that all away, saying it's an entitlement program. Well, hell, I'm entitled to that money. I put it away since I was 16 years old, and I'm 67 now. So, just saying. But yes, I do feel there would be more than just a 3% cost of living. And the other thing that gets me about the MAGA people, the not critical thinkers, but just critical people, don't they realize that if they vote Trump in, they're going to lose their Social Security? They're going to lose their Medicare. They're going to lose whatever they have. God, these and healthcare. God, these people are stupid. Entertainment purposes only. But I don't want to be on that train to Crazyville. I really don't. And so I don't see it happening that these people get elected. Now, Nebish. I'm saying your name wrong. I know what I am. 
Dear Arthur, thank you for giving us peace of mind. That's all right. I lose my mind half the time. Do you see any more climate disasters where groups of people leave the planet in America this year? If so, can you see where? Thanks again. Your twin from another mother. Well, actually, it's a triplet. I have a twin sister. So we're triplets. Uh, to be honest with you, I see there's going to be loss of property. I see a lot of water damage this year, but I'm not going to see massive loss of lives. They are telling me right this moment, there may be a few twisters in the Midwest that there will be some casualties, but not, but maybe three at the top, three at the most people lose their lives. I hope I'm totally wrong on this, but that's what I'm getting. And then Sister Sheep is asking, do you see any more volcanic, volcanic eruptions this year? Will they affect climate change? Well, there's going to be one big eruption when Trump finds out what his sentence is. Oh, volcanic eruptions, never mind. Um, well, we've got the stuff happening in Hawaii. We have the stuff happening in Iceland. We have the stuff happening in Italy. But I don't see anything like Mount Vesuvius happening over again or Mount St. Helens, where there's clouds of smoke and changes all the climate. So to answer your question, I see there will be some eruptions, but I don't see, again, loss of lives with this or craziness or plumes of clouds of smoke that stay there and change climate. I don't see that. But, you know, the eagle, the bottom line is the... First of all, I had a lot more questions that I've answered. So I will do another show this week. Yay. Go buy a lottery ticket. Go to Bodega, buy a lottery ticket when I release it. In summary, the legal issues surrounding Trump continue to evolve. With implications for both his personal future and the political landscape. Now, I've been saying what I've been saying. I don't see him crossing the finish line. Even if he's on the ballot, he's not going to win. But again, we have to make that happen as well. We have to vote. And the potential overturning of Trump's conviction by the Supreme Court, I don't see that happening. You know, even though the Supreme Court decisions and political maneuverings are basically messing us all up with fear and doubt and what's going to happen. But here's the thing. When we keep on thinking about the past, what could have been, what might have been, what should have been, that's depression. That's a three-way with Ben and Jerry on the sofa watching Netflix. Or Vicky or whatever streaming channel you watch. But the same thing with everyone running around, what's going to happen, what's going to happen, what's going to happen? That's anxiety. So here we have depression, here we have anxiety. It's complete opposite. So how do we stay out of depression in the past? How do we stay out of anxiety in the future? Which I always say is, sit down, chicken little. It's only an acorn. Besides, that's my job to tell you what's going to be happening, not yours. So how do we stay out of depression? How do we stay out of anxiety? By staying in the middle, which is the present. Stay in the present. That way you don't have time to think about, oh my God, oh my God. Or, oh my God, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? So it's up to us to keep calm, cool, and collected. It's not like, you know, when I was a kid, we had to sit, on our, sit under our desk because we're having a bomb scare. Like, there's going to be an atomic bomb, and my desk is going to protect me. Not really. But here, we have to protect ourselves emotionally. And when you start feeling all this angst about depressions and angst about the future and blah, 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 blah. Please do this. I've said this before in this channel and I'm going to repeat it again. It's simple. You close your eyes. Try now. Close your eyes. Come on. Put your hand over your heart. 
breathe. And as you're breathing, listen to your heartbeat. Not only listen to your heartbeat, but feel your heart beating. And as you slow down your breathing, your heart rate will start going down a little bit. You'll start getting more relaxed. And this is how you ground and center yourself. Okay? And do that for a couple minutes. Breathe. Relax. And as I've said many times on these shows, many of us are empaths. And we pick up all the craziness more so than anyone else because we're highly sensitive people. And it's not what someone says, but how they say it to really affect us. So, please copper in the pocket. I always say put three copper pennies in your pocket, three to four copper pennies in your pocket, a copper bracelet. I wore copper socks like when I was living in Tokyo for a bit. And why? Because as an empath, we're going to feel energy. We take it in. We're not supposed to feel it like it's our own. So energy comes our way. It goes to the copper on our body like a lightning rod. And then it's grounded. It doesn't go into us. We don't hold on to it. Okay. And also, if you want, just just take a couple pinches of sea salt. Put those in your shoes. They'll help ground you in more ways than one. Why sea salt? It's protection. It absorbs negative energy. If it's wintertime. I mean, summertime, yeah, it's also going to absorb moisture in your feet. But also, if you think about it, everyone wears sneakers these days. And what do sneakers do? What does rubber do? It insulates us away from Gaia and, and the Earth. We can't feel the Earth. So putting the grains of salt can help that again. But also, each grain of salt represents an ancestral path. And it's going to let our ancestors be with us as we walk forward. And our ancestors are not going to allow us to walk down the wrong path. Okay? And we know what the right path is. Truth, justice, and American way. Freedom. Not their freedom but real freedom. So what are we going to do? We're going to vote. Now, I'd like to end all of this with one question or comment that was sent to me by Darling Lady. And please take note of what she says. Awesome, Arthur. I am backing away from the negative political realm. I appreciate your intuition and follow your con contributions to help us calm down. As I walk through this magnificent world, I am spreading kindness and friendship as a positive offering to all beings. This simple concept is giving me joy and relaxation. It's exciting. Okay? So what have I been saying? Stay out of the depression, stay out of the anxiety, be in the present, walk through this magnificent world, spreading kindness and joy, which is also the most benevolent outcomes to every send the light, the love, to every nook and cranny on this planet. Because we need it more now than ever. All right. I'm so proud of this community. I'm so proud of everyone here because it's because of you that this happens. It's because of you. I feel honored to be here. You make this all possible for all of us in the YouTube community that are saying, Trump's a loser. You remember that. All right. So tell me. 
What are your thoughts on the Trump legal battles and potential outcomes? Put them in the comments below. Share them. Let's see what you have to say. In the meantime, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 10,000 by the end of the year. I can only do it with your help and to get the word out there. And also don't forget to ring that, click that little bell so that you'll get the updates on this ongoing unfolding saga. So as always, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're all in this together. Don't forget that. And as always, take care of yourself, take care of others, and above all, please stay amazing. All right. See you soon.